Uh, well, uh, always a notebook and pen. Uh, that hasn't changed for me. I always take that. Um, but and a, a mobile phone used to be helpful. Now you can live totally off your your mobile um, for for access to all information. Um, technology allows us to obviously do research instantly, no matter where we are, as long as we can get a, a signal up, I guess. But um, I, I guess less bulk, haven't had to carry too many heavy things by comparison to before, but what hasn't changed for me is a notebook and pen. Uh, yes, we keep uh, notes and um, research that we do in terms of our stories, um, obviously for, for legal reasons as well as um, just for background notes that might come in handy for an, an update on the story. Archives is another form of research, so incredibly important to be able to um, seek out as much information about a, a subject or a person uh, as possible is, is a, a, essential to, to a good product. I think that um, archiving research is probably not known by a lot of people. If they knew it, they'd probably use it a whole lot more. And I think that that's one of the great things would be that if you knew you could come and, and listen to something and, and or to read uh, something that that you didn't know about before, that would, that would be fantastic. Uh, I think time is a problem, I think that's, uh, and, and certainly technology has allowed um, our researching to be done in a more s speedily manner, but um, I think any, any avenue for research is a good one. Yes, I mean I'm involved in the, uh, the filming, uh, I mean obviously I, I do the research, I, do the questions, write the script, uh, participate in the editing and uh, make sure that um, the story that I'm presenting is the one that, uh, that I want to go out there. So I'm involved at all, at all levels. Well what you'll find at 60 Minutes is that we have what's called extra minutes and that's where you will find a lot of material that we haven't been able to put to to uh, air in our stories but just because of time um, because we do long interviews and we've had to make editorial decisions about what we can actually fit into that time and what's appropriate but you can actually see what we haven't put to air on, on our website uh, a little confronted by being in the archive actually I, I, I because um, I'm not sure what value I bring uh, Again, uh, I, I guess I'm a, just a small part of a moment in time, uh, but flattered and, and very appreciative of the opportunity, but but still a little bit, just feel a little bit awkward, <laughs> a little bit uncomfortable. But um, I think I think we're always um, wanting to edit ourselves a bit because that's the nature of what we do. We don't. We don't want to offend, we don't want to um, reveal what might be inappropriate, but at the same time you want to be totally honest, so I guess the, the, the deal that, you know, you're doing this with openness and honesty, uh, with some good guidelines, makes it easier.